They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Celebrities be mad. The whole world's going mad. It's really kind of sad when you see them do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Celebrities be mad. The whole world's going mad. It's really kind of sad when they do anything for clout. When they do anything for clout. Let me introduce our regular co-host, Chef Clarence and Lizzie P. And don't forget about Captain Darrell. Captain Darrell engineers our show. He's one of our producers. And he keeps the show in this train rolling. Whoop, whoop. On this episode of... They do anything for clout. We have in the studio our celebrity co-host of the show today, Mr. Kenny Conglomerate. (laughs) All the way from the NYC to the ATL. Conglomerate is not only going to talk about his new apparel line, Fire. He's also going to talk about his three decades in the entertainment industry. He's going to drop a few gems on, you know, some things that he's done in his um, short time on this earth. Because, you know, forever he's young as well. I know I look young and all that, but, you know, I'm, I'm 40, 47 right now. You know what I'm saying? God bless. And uh, fire actually stands for forever. I'm young apparel. Oh, so okay. that's what we bring into everybody right now, bringing everybody together. That's the bridge the gap, and it's working out really dope, you know. So how long have you been um, Fire been in business? Well, Fire is brand spanking new. It's brand uh, new. It's brand new, but I'm not new to the game. I'm not new to the industry. I've been in the industry for over three decades. Actually, this this brand started popping because of you know my cousin that actually runs everything down here. My cousin Nate. That's him right there over there in the side, rocking up power. Got that, know, got that hoodie on, looking fly. Yeah. <laughs> got that fire but on, you know how it is. <laughs> that was a piece that I just brought down just for him, just off of GP, and it just caught fire, for real, just like the name. And, you know, ever since then, it's been just moving. Everything has been very organic, and we appreciate that. So we've been moving with the merch, and, you know, just going with it. <laughs> keep, keep, yeah, let, keep that same energy up. <laughs> so back to your apparel line. Now, is it what? What all do you have in this line of clothing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I wait a minute. Secrets. I'm not really letting everything out right now. Remember, it's, it's, it's merch. I do have some some good things. I got some things. For oh ladies. no, but you you're talking your business though. You, but definitely, let me explain something. For the ladies though, we got some. Kenny stuff. is an artist. Like a true artist. Okay. Like so you can just, like a drawing okay. true artist. Oh, so man. you can just imagine the print mm. that he does. And when I look at it, I'm like, oh, instead of saying this is dope, I'm like, this is fine. Right. Okay? Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Well, that's part of the reason why the name came up. We kept, kept hearing it over and over. You know, it, it yeah. became like a embedded, like and tattooed right. in my yeah. brain. Right. Yo, this is fire. Yo, right. what you doing? Yo, that's fire. fire. Can you, damn, yeah. yo, that's fire. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, the kids in Atlanta say that. fire. They don't say the fire on the end because they say that we're old heads, that we say fire. So they say fire without the A on the end. Everything they say. I got to move on that. Fire more of a New York thing. Yes. But but, but me being from New Orleans, me being from New Orleans, dip we say fire all the day. Because you're an old head. Well, that's all right. Okay, so fire. I'm talking about the millennials. So fire. Ask Lizzie P. She lived with the millennial. And the mumble rap. They say fire in D.C. and stuff. But I think old heads, you can't they say fire, you know. I, no, I, I hang out with I all the I kids. Heard it, but they have their own little. Because I ask them about everything, and they're yeah. like, that's fine. That's fine. And I'm like, why are y'all not completing y'all words? Yeah. Back to the mumbles. Yeah. The, the mumble millennials. <laughs> MM. I'm going to have come up with that brand, the mumble <laughs> millennials. <laughs> it's a lane for everybody, you know. It, it is. Because yeah, I know if you ask some of the, the dude people right now, you know. Mm-hmm. If they, you know, if they listen to somebody like Big Daddy Kane, if you ask a a, a little pump or something, if they yeah. listen to Big yeah. Daddy Kane, oh, they're yeah. going to look at that. And the way we look at Mumble Rap, they be looking at, nah, I'm good on that. But, you know, it's all yeah. about respect. You know? yes. But they got to understand there's a foundation of everything. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? When you got a house and you're building it, you got to have those bricks. You got to lay the mortar. You got to have those bricks to build something strong. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You want somebody to huff and puff and blow your house down. That's what the mumble rappers is. If you don't really have the foundation. So when you got Big Daddy Kane, when you got Eric B and Rakim, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When you when you I could, talk, I could bring a little bit earlier on when you got LB Fam, when you got Onyx, yeah. you know that's real. That's legendary right there. Yeah. TCF Crew, yeah. you know. 
So I asked Captain D and Kenny Conglomerate, you know, if they felt like Lil Nas X was actually worthy of, you know, winning so hard. I just felt like he didn't pay his dues. It wasn't long enough. You know, it just happened. And, you know, they were actually against me. Here's what Captain D had to say. That nobody else could do. He went to social media and mm -hmm. reached out yeah. to Billy Ray, and he, he did. got him. I mean, the song was it was popping, yeah. and then everybody they like him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he just needed that one push. push yeah. I mean, it's like any, let's say your clothing line, you get one person that can get that clothing. Let's say Al just Cool J, yeah. if he would did it That's on what's the, what's the show on us yesterday? He was on Michael Strahan on TV show. Yeah. Yeah. If right. he had that shirt, shirt on yesterday, trust me, you've been sold out by by two hundred thousand. And that is so <laughs> freaking. Well, that's how it works like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you already see what he did for Fubu. Shout out to Fubu. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah, they, they would have thought he was coming out with a new line. Uh -huh. <laughs> LL, we need to holler at you. Uh -huh. We we do. We got yeah, something yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree. I agree with uh, you know Captain D. Not just because it's his birthday, but yeah. just because you know he made a really strong point there. Um, mm. It was a song back in the day, so I feel like everything. That's it's been done before. Mm -hmm. You just gotta know your history, you got dig you. back. And I'm trying to remember the name of the artist, but the song was remember the ha the ha yeah yeah And what's the difference between that and what he's doing right now that the kids is going crazy for? Right. Yeah. Look at the baby shark song. What's up with that? Yeah. Oh my god. That's popping. <laughs> yeah. It is popping everywhere. No, not no. at all. I no. don't think. Is it hip hop anymore? Um. Well. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all answer that. Yeah. Or is it all about thing. trap? Is not hip hop. I no, hope you guys hip -hop. just know. No, hip hop is like a brand now. It is like it has become a brand, a real brand. Because sports, um, people, the sports industry have made hip hop a true brand now. The clothes that they wear, right? Yeah. The swag that you have, it's, yeah. it's all about. That's what hip hop is now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. shout out to April Walker. You know, for me, um, I, I think that it, uh, they're not reinventing the wheel. But they did add something to the to the game, right. um, and I have to give a lot of credit to a lot of the the younger cats that's out there doing their thing, mm -hmm. the trap music, um, just just everything. I mean, the mumble rappers that's that's not really my thing, no. you know. And I, I mean, I, maybe I shouldn't even label them as mumble rappers, but some of them are actually. <laughs> but they call themselves mumble rappers, though. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, but some rappers, of them are yeah. mumble rappers, right? But they, you know, they they've changed the game. No shout I mean, outs to the mumble rappers. Yeah, no shout out. Shout out to the mumble <laughs> rappers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hip-hop radio show. So oh, yeah, we are hip-hop junkies. We hip-hop yeah, junkies. Hip -hop. Except I, I, Baby I'm Liz sure over here. Baby Liz, yeah. you know, she's still yeah, we, learning. We know about hip-hop. Baby yeah. Liz, we got to educate her. Let her know <laughs> yeah. what's going on. Yeah. You know, I started out as a dancer for Coogee Rap and Polo. Okay. You know, so started there. Then moved on. Danced with Big Daddy Kane. Public oh. Enemy Tour. Hey, I saw you in that video. Well, which one are we talking about? Big Daddy Kane. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And I learned a lot from a lot of those legends. Right. You know, those legends really helped me down mm -hmm. and uh they taught me the game. You yeah. know, so that's where I get a lot of my influences from. From Big Daddy Kane. Shout out to Fly Ty Williams, first of all. Fly mm -hmm. Ty. You know what I'm saying? Fly Ty, you know what I'm saying? Put the group juice crew together, you know, juice crew, shout out to everybody, juice crew. I see you, Roxanne, out there doing your thing. Yeah, LL, rock doing the bells. Yeah, she doing All right? rock the bells. <laughs> to a certain age, you got to work to keep it right. You know, so I'm focused on that. But health is very important, and you got to stay in the gym, do something, walk, or whatever you got to do. Eat right. Mm -hmm. And my word of the year is intentional. Like, everything you do has to be intentional. Nothing comes by happenstance. Mm -hmm. Like... Your brand wasn't put together by happenstance. I look at the website, and it's like over the years, you've had to recreate yourself, and you have to recreate your brand. And we always talk about, like, the last 10 years, because Tyler Perry just opened a new studio. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 11 years ago, he had his old one. And then I begin to reflect on, like, where was I 11 years ago? And, you know, on my way in this morning, I was thinking, because we're getting older, they always say, um, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that like the standard job interview question? Yes, yeah. Absolutely. And when we were younger, we were like five to ten years. Like, we didn't think that far, and mm -hmm. now exactly. we're looking like, 
a decade later, like, what have I accomplished? Yes. Never in those five to ten years do we say, oh, I can see I'm on baby mama number three. Right. Or I got two <laughs> ex-wives. I got five kids. Two ain't even talking to me. You okay? Right. But these are the realistic situations now as adults that we can say we don't want to happen. So what we have to do is really kind of sow that into the mindset of our children. That's facts. Mm -hmm. That's definitely facts. I definitely agree with you on that. Um, as far as the interview question of where you see yourself in the next five years, I don't really buy into that so much. I mean, I know a lot of people do. Um, I kind of like live for the moment, and then you just take it one step at a time. Because sometimes when you push too far ahead, you kind of get a little convoluted there. You know, things get kind of like thrown off, and, you know, your mind, if you're not really a focused person right. in the game, and you think it's so far ahead, it could throw you off your game. You know, you got the haters out right. there, you got the obstacles, you got all of that happening. And you have to be able to just really stay focused, you know. And once you focus and you're moving on it like that, you know, you can make things happen for yourself. So for me, you know, you got to have a plan. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. But five years ahead, you don't have to even really think that far to make it happen. Right. You know, and you got to go with the flow. You got to enjoy what you do. Love what you do. Hey, you guys. I almost forgot. We have a caller on the line. We are celebrating National Authors Day for the entire month of November. And our special call-in guest is Leticia Scott Jackson. The name of her book is Grace and Favor, From Prison to Paid, Volume 1. So we're going to click Leticia. Robo music. Right. Radio. Good morning. How are you? <sighs> Find yourself. Leticia, you know, we was over here yapping and rapping. I wrote this book, I guess, in 45 days. I do my own graphics. I'm just excited. I used this book because I had a mentor that was a Oh, 
you know, I'm not playing for the church. I, I've been playing for the church since I was 12. I'm like, I'm not playing for the church. I'm not paying no tithes. I'm not doing nothing. She said, I ain't paying no tithes. You done made somebody mad. Well, that concludes this episode of Do Anything for Clout. It's not always about clout chasing. It's not always about which person gets the clout chaser of the week. Sometimes, you know, we got to slide a Kenny conglomerate in here, a Kenny conglomerate in here, a Kenny conglomerate in here. You see, I had to do that remix because he came in. He remixed it up. He's remixing his career. He's remixing from the dancing, from the top rapper, Cool G Rap. Big Daddy Kane, he remixed his life into being a graphic artist. He remixed it into having the Fire Shots um, booth, the Fire Shots photo booth With if you're hanging out in New York. Please follow Mr. Kenny Gunglomerate at K-E-N-N-Y, K-E-N-G-L-O-M-E-R-A-T-E or at Fire Shots, F I Y A. S-H-O-T-S. And please visit F-I-Y-A apparel.com to see everything available for order. This stuff is really, really dope, you guys. Check it out. Support Kenny. You won't be disappointed. Quality stuff. Good stuff. Share this podcast with a friend. And pick up your copy of Grace and Favor by Leticia Scott Jackson and follow Keeping Families Connected. And the most important thing is following your girl, Jonelle PR Brand, on IG. All right? And you will always be in the know. And you will find out every week how they do anything for clout. Out.